We're live at Radio City Music Hall, where it's all about to begin. God, it is truly the biggest night in the music industry. And of course, I'm talking about the Grammys. Me being the biggest fan, I get to stay in front of Radio City Music Hall, New York City. I'm on the red carpet. Guess what, you guys? The stars have to get by me to get inside, and I cannot wait. We're going to have all the dish for you all night long. Who's winning what? Who's looking how? And I cannot wait. But of course, I'm not hosting the festivities by myself. I have a fabulous co-host this evening. Let's see what he's up to. I am here with Matchbox 20, VH1 loves Matchbox 20. You guys are up for a nomination. You're up for a Grammy tonight. How do you feel? We lost our Grammy. Yeah, we did. We're you did? Okay, but we lost it to the Wallflowers. Dude. Good Jake. job, Jake. Way to go, Jacob, baby. No longer Susan Lucci, baby. <laughs> and I have one of the most beautiful ladies in the house tonight, Miss, and also a new Grammy winner, Miss Fiona Apple. Grammy winner. Yeah. Best rock, best rock female vocal performance. Oh, really? See, but you just got here, so you didn't know that. I didn't know. You look so beautiful. You're so kind. Thank I'm not kind. It's quite obvious you are beautiful. But I have to tell you, the voice that you have, everything that you portray, one question is you've worked with everybody. David Foster, the most incredible producers. If you have one dream person you could work with, either artist or producer, who would it be? Well, I would have loved to sing with Barbara Streisand tonight. Just to prove we are live here at Radio City Music Hall, who's this lovely lady? Why, it's Jada Pinkett Smith. She's now a hyphen lady. Yes. I got a chance to get her. I got her right here. It's Miss Leanne Rimes. How are you? I'm good. Now, you are 15 years old. You're still 15? Yeah. You know what? Last year, I, we talked to you on the radio today. I do radio show in New York City. And I got to talk to you this morning, and I said, she's still 15. I am, unfortunately. <laughs> and you are. And you know what? You're last year's Best New Artist. And I was saying, you came out with a heck of a whopper for Best New Artist. I'm standing here with Tony Bennett. I am so lucky. I'm here with a legend. Seven-time Grammy winner, two-time nomination tonight. How are you feeling, Mr. Oh, Bennett? Just wonderful, yeah. Thank and you're looking quite gorgeous. Thank you very, very much. You're, you're beautiful yourself. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to wish you all the best. I hope everything goes well for you, as it always will. But you know what? You've done something. You've brought back a style of music that we've needed forever. You've done it for our generation. I know everything there is to know about Puff Daddy. I don't need no car. I want two Grammys. Tell the people. I want two Grammys. I want to thank everybody out there, especially... I hope I look as excited as I really am. I got to meet Puffy. I got to meet Celine Dion. I got to meet Patti LaBelle, Fleetwood Mac, Fiona Apple, can I go on, Erica Badu, beautiful eyeshadow, I must say, Usher. I mean, I got to meet these people that I've just been dreaming about and watching on VH1 for so long. I'm so excited. I just had to, all I had to do was sit back and watch your work. Your jaw must have dropped. Yeah, it really did. And tonight, she's doing a little bit of the number tonight, backed up by the Blues Brothers. And that's why I'm here. I'm helping out a little bit with that. Well, I thank you so much for being such a genius and taking us to those places, okay? Thank you so much, Paul Schaefer. And now, you guys. Great. I want to give you my final picks of the evening. You might not agree. Nobody else might not agree, but these are my picks. Remember, okay? For the best album, I'm going to say This Fire, Paula Cole. Of course, that's probably an easy one. For best song, I'm going to say How Do I Live. That's written by Diane Warren. Who can go wrong with that? How Do I Live? And, of course, best new artist, I'm going to say Erica Badu. That's taking a risk there because a lot of people are saying maybe Fiona Apple, maybe Paula Cole. I'm going to say Erica Badu only because she's so fierce and nobody has to look like that. And then, of course, now don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. Record of the year, Mba. I'm going to say that because it was remixed like 500 times. I think it's one of the best things I've ever heard. And you know what? you got to admit, you don't want to admit it, but you have to admit that it made you dance and it made you sing, okay? And they are cute. Don't forget it. We're going to be back at 11 o'clock. You better be there. Nobody else is going to have it. John, this has been really fun, hasn't it, baby? Let's go back to Michelle on the red carpet. Honey, what everyone is talking about here tonight is Barbara Streisand, okay? Now, she's a no-show because she has the flu, but Celine is flying solo, honey. The women are represented tonight. Now, can somebody say Oscars? All the biggest stars in the music business still to come, so you stay right there. But now let's take a look at the winner for music video short form, Janet Jackson with Got Till It's Gone. I like this. So 
glad you guys are back to join me. The biggest night, hugest night in the music industry. Of course, we're talking about the Grammys. So many things happen tonight, and I cannot wait to share them. But one of the biggest events, I think, my co-host, John Fuglesang, is going to be so, so happy about it. It was a big, huge night for Bob Dylan, and I saw when he was winning everything and performing. I think John Fuglesang kind of went in a fetal position in the corner. John, how you feeling? Hey, Michelle, I hear you got somebody <laughs> special with you. Of course I have somebody special. It's the one and only Dwight Yoakam. Hey! Hey, how you doing? I'm very, very well, thank you. How are you? Do you like it? It's all feathered up. It's kind of feathered right down from your hair into your, yeah, your bow around your coat. Yeah, I like it. And do you approve? Absolutely. Because some people might have a problem, you know, they're, and it's not real. It's not, a, you know, it's, it's the thing. I mean, it's not real. It's, those are real feathers. Okay, Dwight, I'm trying to, like, make believe it's not real. Play with those me. birds that died all over North America. To make <laughs> Thanks, Dwight. You know, I am here with Gloria Stefan. You know what I wanted to ask you is, do you ever get used to all these all-night events? Like, are they, like, normal to you? Once a year, maybe. I mean, not normal. I certainly don't do this every week. Crazy evening, a lot of mishaps, a lot of, like, wild, wild night. I don't know how these people get microphones and, like, get up there and do this stuff. The audience reaction was pretty much, like... Same as Bob Dylan. You don't even understand. My mom, I'm sure, is watching, and she knows that whole Stevie Nicks story, getting punished from the concert. I'm so excited. I just love Fleetwood Mac, and I am so happy. But you guys, all the stars are like, I'm getting pushed around by, like, stars, okay? So if you want to see them all, what they're wearing, what they're winning, stay right there. We'll be right back with VH1.